This is Bear Country. Friday, January 22nd, and we're coming to you from Cambridge High School at the grand opening of the Cambridge Agro-Science and Veterinary Education Building, The Cave. I'm Caroline Hearn, and, and here's what's up! FFA members, why are we here? <laughs> to practice brotherhood, honor agricultural opportunities and responsibilities, and develop those qualities of leadership which an FFA member should possess. May we accomplish our purposes. I now declare this ribbon cutting of the Cambridge Agri-Science and Veterinary Education Building, duly opening for the transaction of business or attention to any matters which may properly be presented. I now welcome our principal, Dr. Edward Sperka, to the podium. I want to personally thank all of you for coming this morning and taking time out of your busy schedules. I stand before you as a very proud member of Fulton County. I've been in the system 20 years and I can't remember a time where I was more proud to serve uh, as a principal here at Cambridge. Um, this has been a long time coming. Five years ago when they said we were getting a vet science building along with the, the school, I had no idea what it would become and I am blown away by Fulton County support and um, all the efforts that's gone into this building, it is a state-of-the-art facility and program. There's no other like it. And Fulton County, I'm so proud to be part of this team. When you get this fancy idea for a veterinary science program and you were a special ed social studies teacher, you're like, okay, vet science. You know, that's where I take my dog. Um, not sure, and then I, I talked to Yolanda Bell, who is in charge of CT, and I said, Yolanda, where in the world are we going to find a vet science teacher? Well, I made a phone call and I found Sarah and I wanted to hire her on the spot over the phone. Her enthusiasm, her excitement, she is one that I struggle because I'm not sure I can say no to her. <laughs> because early on before she was hired, um, I asked the school in Gwinnett County, do you have animals? No, you can't have animals at your school. You're just not allowed. So I thought, okay, we're not going to have animals. And then I asked Sarah if we're going to have animals. She said, why not? So you're going to get a chance to tour the facility and see the, the services we're going to provide for the community and things that we're going to have working here. And yes, we do have animals. Um, we will have animals. So without further ado, Sarah, if you would like to come forward, um, very excited. She is the face of our program. We're going to do great things here because of her. So thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Dr. Sperga. I'm not going to stand up here for too long, um, but I just want to thank everyone for getting me here. I was teaching in North Carolina last year, and actually it was a phone call from Mr. Mitchell in the back there, and he said, so there's this new program, North Fulton County, Milton, have you ever heard of it? And my husband, who's in the back, we wanted to move to North Fulton. We have a two-year-old daughter. I know she's not in school yet, but we want her to go to school in North Fulton County. And I said, I'm never going to get a job in North Fulton County. I'm going to have to go to Forsyth or Cherokee because my degree is in agriculture education. How am I supposed to get a job? And it was, it was fate. It was a blessing. I got that phone call. I called Yolanda the next day. And then I had my phone interview like two days later um, that Dr. Sperka was talking about it. So it was all awesome. And I'm blessed to be a part of it. So I'm going to let Yolanda Bell come up here because she's part of the, the cogs that work to get this program here at Cambridge. Thank you very much, Sarah. Um, my name is Yolanda Bell, and I'm the executive director of Career and Technical Education. Um, I do want to thank a lot of our special guests here today, especially um, Stan Mitchell with the Department of Education. He's a regional director for FFA, and he was really instrumental in helping me as a marketing teacher figure out <laughs> what's supposed to go on in this building. I also want to recognize my staff, Tanya Eaton and Mark Elsie are here. Um, and again, they helped us put this together and helped us understand what this should look like. Um, this is really a game changer for college and career readiness for our county, and I'm very proud of everybody here. I'm very proud of the students. You guys have done such a great job this morning, and I really appreciate it. 
And more, most importantly, I preach this all the time, but with CTE, our teachers are our programs. And this would not, ex this would not be here, this wouldn't be as special um, as it is if it wasn't for Sarah. So I'm so thankful for you, I'm so appreciative of you, and I'm glad to have you in Fulton County. So before we cut the ribbon, um, Dr. Sperka wanted me to talk about my grand ideas. I, I keep on telling people I have crazy ideas, and most of them have happened. Um, we're getting there. When you get to go outside, you'll get to see some of our um, animals that my kids have bought. They're not mine. There's goats out there. There's chickens out there. Um, that people really thought I was crazy. Um, but I'm thankful already it happened. It took me two years at my old school to get that kind of going, but already six months in, we have a great program. Um, when I think about the cave, so the Cambridge Agri-Science and Veterinary Education Building, I don't think about kids coming out certified vet assistants, which they will. I don't think about kids winning state, you know, career development events or state proficiencies, which they will eventually. You know, we'll get there. Um, I think about this becoming a home. Okay. When I think about high school, I had a home in my high school. It was the auditorium. I danced in high school, and my teacher, I still go back, and I love to see her, and I love when she sees me. She's like, Sarah Kane, oh my gosh, and that was my home. It's where I learned about leadership. It's where I learned I could do whatever I wanted, and I want that to be the cave here, that kids leave, and they think about it, and they come back, and they say, I can do whatever I want to do. I don't want all my kids to be vets. Maybe they all will. Who knows? Um, I don't care if they all go into animal science. I want them to believe in themselves, and they started here in the cave. So without further ado, I think we're going to cut the ribbon. <laughs> all right, here we go. I think at Cambridge, we want to be the leader in education. And I think if you look at our engineering program, our video broadcast program, you look at our career tech programs across the board, we are leaders in Fulton County and across the state. So I think this is going to add to that. And uh, I couldn't be more excited about the things that we're offering our kids. And we're going to get a lot of people coming here to visit Cambridge. How do you think that this is going to change for the kids coming in, the upcoming freshmen and sophomores that are going to change and be able to pick from so many different career tech um, programs? How do you think that that's going to be for them? You know, I think some people look at it as, as a stressor, as a challenge to try to figure out early on what classes they want to take, but I think it's a really good thing. If you look at it as an opportunity versus challenge, it forces you when you're in middle school to look at what are the things you like to do, what are the things you can see yourself doing when you grow up. Um, take those classes that you have a passion for. It sure makes education a lot more fun. And how do you think this is going to change getting students into college and helping them find the right major? I think it's education is good because kids will have skills and knowledge and find that college that's for them. Um, we all want to make sure we go to a college that's a good fit because colleges are all different, right? So I think as you learn more about who you are as a person and the things that drive you, if you find the career tech pathway or the job that you want to do and you have a passion for, you will never work a day in your life. Fulton County is all about creating options for kids. We know that kids are in different environments, that different, you never know what's going to light that fire in a kid. If it's a health science class, if it's a culinary class, if it's an opportunity to work with animals, I'm thrilled that this program is now creates that opportunity for kids to wake up to an idea and to a career that they never saw before. So when I see the kids from the FFA get excited about this program, it just tells me that we're on the right path and we need to continue to create options like this for our students. This facility is very unique and you know what, it's, it sort of ushers in a new era for Fulton County where we don't do the same thing at every school. Every school has different needs, every school has different interests. This is a perfect example of an ability to bring a community's interest to life in a state-of-the-art facility, which is really cool. I don't think people realize how much opportunity we now have that every career that we want to do, we can find it in here and it's something that we can really just work towards and it's just so special to have. We are just very excited to have this building and this program here. It's really going to help us change the message of career technical education that it's not just for students that might not be going to college but it's for everybody. Everybody from your valedictorian to your student that's trying to find their way in high school. Um, career and technical education is about finding your passion so that no matter what you do you are able to go out to the workforce and have a productive career and so this that's what this program is about is finding the passion within you and I'm so glad I'm so proud of you guys and I'm proud of Sarah for the program finding teachers to come into this program and to bring something new to this because I know that she said that it was so important for her to make this entire career tech pathway feel like a home 
How is that to know that you can have that environment for students? It, it's incredible because the first career tech teacher I hired was uh, Mr. Snyder, video broadcast. And I knew he was my guy to take over the program and look at the bridge, look at the things we've done. Um, Ms. Nurswick has the same passion for the job that she wants to do here. And I think our program's in great hands and um, look what we've done already in six months. I think the cave's really going to be student owned. You know, they have a lot of ownership. They brought in pictures, they brought in artwork, they helped decorate it. They, you know, they're all over the walls. This is their space. So I think people have, they have a lot more ownership than maybe a classroom, a teacher's classroom in the school. So when they come out here, they want to hang out. They come out on the weekends. They stay here until 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the afternoons helping them with the animals. So they're learning these skills, but also feeling comfortable. When we have class out here, it's a different, I don't know, it's a different zone or zen out here people one of my students called it calm you know we just get our work done we kind of do our thing and I think that really helps with the students um, motivation towards this class and liking it. It has been an extremely successful opening of the Cambridge Agroscience Veterinary Education Building. All of the faculty and students here at Cambridge High School are so excited to integrate this new program. So from all of us from the cave to you, I'm Caroline Hearn, and I have a chicken on my head named Shirley. <laughs> and that's what's up. This is Bear Country.